Well, good day. It's certainly a pleasure to be back with you on the Health Beat Show. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Watson, and welcome to the Health Beat Show. And welcome back to the Health Beat Show. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Watson. Welcome to the Health Beat Show. Today we have something very interesting to talk with you about and one of our most wonderful guests in none other than Mr. Vernon McCallum. Welcome to the Health Beat Show, Pleasure Mr. To be Vernon McCallum. I've known Vernon my whole life actually and he has moved into a business at this point in time which is extremely important. You know, many of us were born at a time that we would call it baby boomers, okay? And uh, that would be in the 50s and the 60s uh, era. At this point in time, people are starting to get older and older and older. We've had other shows that have talked about how the healthcare industry uh, treats and maybe does not treat those who are becoming seniors. Many times, many people want to stay at home, they don't want to be in the hospital. And Mr. McCalla, at this point in time, has a business that will allow people to live independently, to live as long as they want in the comfort of their own home. Tell us about a little bit about your background first, okay. and uh, how you evolved into doing what you're doing now. Okay. Well, um, as Jeffrey said, I'm Vern McCalla. I'm from Berkeley, California, and uh, I also went to Berkeley High School. Uh, graduated from uh, the University of California at uh, Riverside and then I've had a career uh, in sales and marketing starting off uh, in like 1970 with Levi Strauss and Company where I was an account executive for them and then shortly after that career I went into another career in the hospitality industry where I stayed for approximately 12 years. Uh, the whole theme is sales and marketing. Then I moved forward into the, um, the brokerage industry with doing loans for companies like Wells Fargo and Chase. Uh, and then after I reached a uh, certain age, I decided to transition into my own business along with my son and my wife. And we came up with the idea of uh, working with seniors. So I came up with a company called uh, comfort care senior services and what we do there is we provide services for uh, people that basically have aged and want to age in place uh, they want to be in their home and they want to be uh, have the comforts of home so we provide such things as hygiene uh, we provide uh, meals meal preparation uh, we also do errands and uh, we just try to take the stress and strain off of uh, seniors uh, so that they can age in place. Now would this be like an alternative for somebody having to be in a hospital or having to be in a nursing home environment? I mean they could actually be in their own home uh, and would they have to be there with uh, a family member or could they be there with your organization providing 24-hour care? Yes. We, we, yes. The answer is yes, and we do provide 24-hour uh, care uh, depending on you know the particular situation and the particular client. Uh, we also do respite care, and we also do. Um, and what does that mean, respite care? Well, we we uh, respite and hospice. I meant to say hospice care, but hospice is defined by a person that has less than six months. Oh. And what we do is we provide you know 24-hour care. We have a. a client right now in Lafayette we have a caregiver that stays there and provides all of the, the person's needs for, for 24 hour period 
and then they take a break and then on the weekend we bring in another uh, caregiver or assistant to provide that same service and this will go on and on until the person expires. Uh, in other instances we have clients, for example, we have a client in Danville who uh, she's a young 82 but she was working in her yard and she fell and she broke her shoulder. Uh, so then what we did, we brought our uh, best caregivers in and our caregivers, by the way, are certified nursing assistants, so they have a okay. background, they have, an exp have experience working with, uh, you know, elderly people. Uh, so getting back to the client in Danville, uh, she fell and she broke her shoulder. We provided 24-hour care, and then it went from 24 to 12 hours down to eight hours, and then uh, the person is totally independent. Again. So she improved and she was able to get back to independence and get back on her own. Exactly. So was she in the hospital for a little while? Yeah, she was in the hospital uh, for about a month. Uh, oh. you know, uh, you know, Rehabilitating. Going, rehabilitating and, and had a, a couple of surgeries, oh. what have you. So um, it really makes us feel good that we can come in and help people uh, return to their, to their former state. What, what about the kind of situation where you have someone, we have so many wonderful families that do everything they can for their mom or their dad or their parents, but they need a break. They need to go right. to the family reunion. They need to get out of town for a little while. Can, can you provide them with some assistance such that somebody will stay there for just a week maybe or, or a month that will allow them to go away right. but they don't have to be committed to it for a long term? Correct. Well, we, we provide 24-hour um, care. We can have, uh, if a client is in the home, uh, we can bring our caregiver in um, to give family you know, the relief. For example, if you have a son and daughter that are looking out for mom and they've been doing this, we find this all the time, that they've been uh, helping mom, but they need a break. They, they, they're there for 24 hours uh, for, for maybe two to three months, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So they're just completely burned out. They're looking for relief. Uh, we can bring our caregiver in, our personal assistant, and then we can provide uh, care for let's say on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday we might provide five hours care so that would give the, the uh, son and daughter uh, some relief mm -hmm. and then uh, it, it really it really has worked out well and for many of our clients because with the with the caregiver coming in they have something to look forward to uh, they had they, they increase their activities uh, we're on top of their medications and other aspects of their life so that they they feel more confident uh, about moving forward in their life in their elder years. And, and I can actually vouch for this because your organization provides assistance to my mother. Right. And, and that's how confident I feel in the organization. They come over, they help her to, to eat, they help her with business things, help her go shopping. As a matter of fact, the caregiver brought her by the office today here oh. to just visit with me. So that was a pleasure. We're here with Mr. Vernon McCalla. And the name of your organization? Comfort Care. Comfort Care. And this is a specialty organization that will allow you to stay in your home and allow your family to stay in their home and to be comfortable. Stay tuned. We've got a good one right here on the Health Beat Show with Mr. Vernon McCall. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Watson. We're right back here with Fitness Facts on the Health Beat Show. We're here with the coach and with Shamir Washington teaching us how to get our abdomen and our obliques, our behind together. Coach, what can I do to get ready for the summertime? Doctor, I'm glad you asked. We're gonna go ahead and focus on some more abdominal exercises. Go ahead and lay on your side, body in a 180 degree angle, bottom leg bent, elbow out in front, resting your head on your palm of your hand. Take a deep breath in, exhale and relax. Bring your, that top leg off the ground. Good, keeping good body alignment on this. Take a deep breath in, good, exhale. And you're gonna focus on lifting your shoulder off the ground and not jerking your head. Nice and strong, lifting the bottom perfect. And now this go. is good, this is getting the, the side muscles, the latissimus dorsi. What muscles would that be that I'm getting here? You're, getting, you're hitting your obliques nice and strong. The you're obliques. Even, yeah, you're even triggering 
more than just your obliques. You're working your upper body. You're working your, your oxygen intake into your muscles, into your brain. You can't go wrong with this exercise. This exercise is awesome. So it's all part of, of one of the abdominal exercises. Definitely. Okay. And seven. Good. Nice and strong. Eight. Eight. Finish strong. Nine. One more good one. I can feel and it. ten. Nice. All right. <laughs> All right. Good. Good. All right. Now, let's go ahead and do the other side. It's important to always have balance. So if you work one side of the body, it's important to work the other side. So go ahead. Bottom leg bent. Top leg straight. Good. 180 degree angle. And focus on lifting that bottom shoulder off the ground. Remember. There we go. Perfect. Top leg straight. Good. And lift. Three. Good. Four, nice and strong. Five, that's it. Six, good, finish strong. Seven, good. Eight, it's important to breathe. One good way to remember to breathe correctly is to count. All right, awesome. I'm good, man. Awesome, let's keep it going, let's keep okay. it going. Hi. All right, we're gonna go what ahead else and start these lower abdominal muscles. Go ahead and lift your legs straight up in the air. Oh boy. Body in a 90 degree angle. Good, go ahead and cross your feet on these. Perfect. Okay. Take your hands, gently put them under your hips. Give yourself a little balance. And what we're going to focus on is lifting the legs straight up in the air. This is going to target the lower abdominal muscles. Remember to breathe and lift. One, two, oh, I can feel that. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, perfect. All right. Those are some great exercises that can really tone and shape those abs, I promise. That's called the boogaloo, huh? Yeah, those are called boogaloos. All right. <laughs> what a name. And awesome. then we go to the bicycle. That's three minutes. All right, we'll go on our next one when we come back. We're learning how to get those abs in shape. We've uh, looked at the obliques. We did the boogaloo. And on our next one, we're going to work harder on the abs and then some behind. Stay tuned for the Health Beat Show. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Cause victory today is mine. All right, beautiful, beautiful. We're here with Miss Trenisha Golston from the Five a Day campaign that tells you to eat five fruits and vegetables that's every day. Right, that's right. Because that's the key to our health. Now we have some fruits and vegetables. What can you tell us about the seasonal guide to fruits and vegetables. Okay, well, if you're on a budget, it's always best to purchase fruits and vegetables when they're in season. And I just wanted to point out a couple of our informational brochures that the state provides us with. And for example, in the spring, we're looking mm -hmm. at between April and June, you'll find bananas, apricots, eggplants, these types of things that are in season. And say, for example, in the summer, July through September, you have chives, you have scallions, you have onions, you have blackberries. And I want to point something out on here, too. Now, this is a seasonal guide for fruits and vegetables for fall, October through December. We're looking at bok choy, we're looking at broccoli. And in the wintertime, between January and March, we're looking at um, collard greens, which we have here on our lovely display. We're looking at mustard greens, kiwi fruit, tomatoes, and even red apples. And that's when they grow or are most available during those seasons? Yes, that's when, that's when they are in season, that's when they grow. And if you're on a budget, as most of us are, that's when it's best to purchase them. So you can make sure you have your five to nine servings of fruits and vegetables. And so what you're saying is that all year long around mm -hmm. these fruits and vegetables and a variety of them are available to that us. That is correct. No excuse not to get your good fruits and vegetables. That's what it's all about right here on Down Home Healthy Cooking on the Health Beat Show. Eat your fruits and vegetables. They're good for you. The victory will be yours.
We have several providers here in the James A. Watson Wellness Center. We have Omar Staples, who is a physician assistant. We have Joyce Morgan, who is a nurse practitioner. We have Dr. Jeanette Ponce, who works with us here. We even have a chiropractor now in the James A. Watson Wellness Center. We've got a business and finance office, our medical records office, and this is where we have our meetings in the conference room. Uh, we'll sit and we'll have our meetings and discuss issues related to how to improve quality of health care. Another thing that you'll find when you come to the James A. Watson Wellness Center is that we do research. We do clinical trials. And this is a room in which we're doing a clinical trial on diabetic neuropathy, numbness in the feet associated with diabetes. Everything is on computer. We have um, cameras here which will show if there's increased blood flow to your feet and improved blood flow. It's very scientific. We are uh, submitting it to the FDA to see if light, these devices produce light, if light therapy, ultraviolet light therapy may help to improve blood flow to your feet and reduce the numbness in your feet. If you're interested in any of the clinical trials or coming to the James A. Watson Wellness Center for advice, for education, give us a call at 444-9460. 444-9460. We can get you involved in many of the clinical trials that we have and the work that we do here. You can talk with Janine Turner who is our clinical trials coordinator. We're here at the James A. Watson Wellness Center. We can care for men, we can care for women, the elderly, the young. Uh, we, we can be involved with clinical trials, education. Uh, we do mentorships and we are here for you in the community. We're back home in the Arlington Medical Center with the James A. Watson Wellness Center. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Watson. God bless. Welcome home. We're here at the James A. Watson Wellness Center where we have students. We teach and we teach with one of the medical schools locally called the uh, Turo School of Medicine and you are a medical student, is that correct? Yes. Okay, tell us your name. Uh, my name is Morgan Marcuselli. And where are you from, Morgan Marcuselli? I'm from Indiana. You're from Indiana. Okay, probably a, a Pacers fan, I would guess. Uh, a little bit, yes. Okay. Now, the school that you're at, where is it located? It is on Mare Island in Vallejo. So, so it's actually a medical school mm -hmm. on Mare Island in Vallejo. And there is something a little bit different than some of the other medical schools about this school. Can you tell me? what is different maybe than UC San Francisco School of Medicine? Well, Toro is an osteopathic medical school. An osteopathic medical school. What is the difference between an osteopathic medical school and a, a regular medical school? Well, uh, both schools teach the majority of the same things, but in an osteopathic medical school we also learn what is called OMT or osteopathic manipulative treatments oh. and we look at the whole body and the musculoskeletal system and try to treat what we call viscerosomatic or somatovisceral dysfunctions between the inner and outer body. So do you do some some kind of things like maybe physical therapist or chiropractors or acupuncturist or you, you manipulate the body? So? Yes, um, we kind of use a combination of a lot of different things, manipulating the spine and all parts of the body, um, just a little bit more than a chiropractor would do to try to heal different things. And so when you finish you get a, a DO, a yes. doctor of osteopathic medicine. And in the state of California there are many DOs and DOs practice in the same way as an MD, as a medical doctor, is that correct? Uh-huh. You get a medical license and you can specialize. Yes. You could be a cardiologist, yes. actually, or, or a surgeon or an emergency room doctor or mm -hmm. anything like that. Okay, what are you going to do when you finish? Have you decided? I'm not sure yet. This is my first rotation, is first so rotation? I'm just trying to figure what that out. What year are you right now? I'm a third year medical student. You're a third year medical student. Well we're absolutely delighted to have you here at the James A. Watson Wellness Center. You're a very bright uh, young woman and we enjoy the opportunity and we always say that if you knew better you could do better uh, right here on the Health Beat Show. 
I'm Dr. Jeffrey Watson, right back here with the Health Beat Show, and joining me is Mr. Vernon McCalla, who works with an organization and owns a uh, local organization here called Comfort Care, an organization that helps people to live in their home, and they're not just seniors. You were telling me that you have people who are disabled, too. Right. We work... Um Currently, we're getting ready to be approved and certified with the regional center where we'll work with uh, people with disabilities, kids with autism, and, and various people uh, that just basically need help. And uh, our caregivers are, are uh, certified to go out and work with these uh, kids and other individuals to provide them the uh, the help that they need to, to, so that they can stay in their so, home. So like say a, if a person were wheelchair bound or something and maybe they lost a limb or they were paraplegic and they went through the regional center, you all could, uh, you're certified to provide care for those Absolutely. types of patients. Absolutely. Okay. And, um, and you can do it short term, you can do it long term, 24 hours a day help them both with their social needs and so on and the other. Now, what kind of resources are there out there to cover such care financially? I mean, obviously everybody wants to, you know, their insurance to pay for everything, all the medicines, all the food, everything. What, what kind of resources are there to pay for this type of service? Uh, one of the, the best resources that we have today uh, that works with our particular company is long-term care insurance. If, if the individual has long-term care insurance, then our company will work with their insurance company and per, be able to provide in-home care for that particular individual. Uh, we also have another program, uh, which is the Veterans Program, um, that can provide in-home care, provided that the person has uh, spent uh, time in war. Um, and there's a lot of... Can it be the wife, too? It, or, or does it have to be the... Or the kids? Or, or it could be the surviving spouse. The surviving it's spouse. The surviving okay. spouse. So that's one program that currently I have about uh, four clients that have qualified and we're providing in-home care for those individuals. And it's really um, serving a need because mm -hmm. a lot of these individuals uh, have gone through the wars and they've been kind of left out of society in the sense of help. So the, the veterans uh, program that we are aligned with through Comfort Care, we provide in-home care for these particular do individuals. You have, do you have patients with Alzheimer's disease? Uh, yes, we do. We have a few people that uh, we're working with that have uh, the onset of dementia and we have some programs set up uh, in Lafayette where there's a uh, facility that we can take them there and they can learn how to do um, different type of exercises, things that stimulate their, their brain, uh, reading, they can play uh, chess, they, they can dance, they can do a lot of things to uh, create activity in their day. Mm -hmm. to, uh, also to challenge their, their brain to keep them to keep them uh, and, and I, I know many families who uh, have a member with Alzheimer's disease and the families are so wonderful but it is a very tiring process to take care of someone so an organization like yours that would be able to step in and provide these other services and right. and direct them to care that would stimulate their brain and so on it would it would really be a major benefit i think to right. the whole family right not just the patient right and um, as we move forward and people are living longer there's been a, a tremendous need for the uh, dementia and Alzheimer's. So our company uh, has some, you know, special training for our CNA so that we can provide uh, the type of training and and uh, that the. So you're client. you're hiring actually. Yes, yes, we are hiring uh, CNAs, you know, mm -hmm. certified, certified nursing assistants. Yes, certified nursing assistants and home health aides, so that uh, we can provide the best type of service for. Uh, any of our clients, whether they have dementia or any other type of uh, and affliction. obviously you're certified. The people have insurance. You make sure you do a criminal check. Everybody's oh, yeah, we, we, all above board. Yeah, we do uh, a thorough background check. Um, we we make sure that they have current driver's license, that they have a TB test, um, their uh, life scan, fingerprinted, so that uh, we make sure that the person uh, besides you know, going through all of those 
particular uh, background checks. We also check personality mm -hmm. because when I my son does part of the uh, interviewing process and orientation, we give him a test. We we take him through a pretty rigorous format uh, before we hire him, and then the final final is with me and they come into my office and I have just a general conversation to see if I can uh, find any defects. But the bottom line is, I look at them and say, hey, would I send this particular person to be with my mom? Mm -hmm. And if they don't kind of make, you know, make that uh, happen, then we don't hire them. Because we, mm -hmm. we want to uh, have a, the greatest uh, reputation for uh, great people that, that work for our company because that's what makes the company is the people so we try to hire the best and um, that's that's what we do and you've networked with all kinds of organizations I know with with churches with senior organizations with just just about every racial group right. with uh, with the hospitals right. Alta Bates, Summit, right. Kaiser and so people John know your Europe. name, yeah, <laughs> they know your name out there. We're so glad that you're doing a wonderful job. What phone number would we call if we wanted to get in touch with Comfort Care um, or with you? Okay, we would call 925-283-6025. That's the uh, office number. And my cell number is 510-693-5947. Okay, we've been here talking with Mr. Vernon McCalla. Mr. Vernon McCalla has a home care agency that really is makes itself tailored to the individual. They could be disabled, they could have Alzheimer's disease, they could need uh, their clothing dealt with, their food dealt with, travel, uh, medications, all these types of things. That, that's the kind of thing I'm going to want. Okay. You know, when, when my time comes, I'm going to want to stay in the home and uh, be kept comfortable right. like you do. We thank you so much for being here with us. Okay? okay? God bless. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Watson. Remember always that your health is your wealth. And when you have your health, you have everything. God bless. We'll see you next time. Bye.